As the Sarah Jane Adventure celebrates 10 years on television this Sunday, here are 5.5 reasons why everybody should watch the Sarah Jane Adventures. One of the Doctor's most popular companions shines as she takes centre stage. The late Elizabeth Sladen somehow made her most famous character both wise and faintly naive, peace-loving, but always ready to fight for justice on her own terms. Sarah Jane may have been an interpret reporter, but this Lois Lane provided she didn't need Superman to save the day. Sarah Jane Adventures had a rogue, a rogues gallery to rival the Doctor. Santarans, Sladeen, and the Grask all made it from the tent from the Time Lord's travels to Sarah's streets. But new foes like the Chilling Nightmare Man, Sinister Sladeen, and the Gun Totting Mona Lisa, not really, were all fabulous buddies. Special special mention to the terrifying Ilja Spellman, played by Bradley Walsh. Whatever happened to him, eh? Forget DC Darkness. Recent heroes have needed a good psychologist more than a trusty sidekick. Yes, Batflick, we're looking at you. And although Sarah Jane Adventures didn't did touch on real world issues, it was full of banter, jokes and plenty of reary observation. Basically it was hashtag lol before hashtag lol was a thing. Sure SG Sure, Sarah Jane had her and her gang had to deal with the things from outer space, but there were other real-world problems that kept program gra the program grounded. Maria Jackson watches her parents grow apart. Ronnie dealt with jealousy and a nagging fear of letting her parents down, and the curse of the Clyde Langer offers a surprisingly moving and un. Sweden take on homelessness. Doctor, Doctor, yes, this show was owned by Sarah Jane and her gang, but nobody complained when the Doctor himself showed up. David Tennant guest starred in the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith and Matt Smith materialised in Death of the Doctor. Fun fact, Sarah Jane Adventures got a big ratings boost when the Doctor rocked up, but newbies loved the show so much they stayed with it even after the TARDIS was long gone. Okay, this is the this is only half a reason because to give you the whole thing, we would be spoilerific. But the closing moments of the wedding of Sarah Jane Smith delivered more feels and most long running dramas managed in fifty seven episodes. The tenth doctor's farewell to his old companions in is a real tearjerker that has an extra awe. Oh. If you're a long time fan and Sarah Jane's journey is shown to be, well, you'll just have to watch and find out. You can watch all three adventures on Sunday on CBBC from 10 past 2, or catch Revenge of the Slidine, The Wedding of Sarah Jane Smith, and The Curse of Clyde Langer on BBC iPlayer from Sunday afternoon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.